A and B. If 4 raised to power A minus 36 raised to power B is equal to 28. Recall that 4 is equal to 2 square and 36 is equal to 6 square. Therefore, 4 raised to power A minus 36 raised to power B, which is equal to 28, can be written as 2 squared raised to power A minus 6 square raised to power B is equal to 28. For writing this, you recall a formula that says law A raised to power N at the same time raised to power N can be written as A raised to power N or raised to power M, which is A raised to power M times N. So you can rearrange this to form in another form again to have 2 raised to power A or squared minus 6 raised to power b or squared is equal to 28. So if you're able to see it has now have a formation of two the sum uh, the difference of two squares which we have x squared minus y squared is equal to x plus y onto x minus y. So having this is relating to this you can now rewrite this to have 2 raised to power a minus 6 raised to power b to multiply 2 raised to power a let's say it's plus to minus 6 raised to power b is equal to 28 so there's two things that we need to consider here what are the things let's go to the next part page so if you have 2 raised to power a plus 6 raised to power b to multiply 2 raised to power a minus 6 raised to power b b to give us 28 now nevertheless of any things to be the power of 2 these two will surely be uh, it will surely be positive for example 2 raised to power minus 1 it will give you 1 over 2 the same thing applicable to this if you have 6 to the power minus 1, it will give you 1 over 6. And 1 over 6 is a positive number. So meaning that these two numbers, they are this nevertheless of what add to them, it will turn to positive. Nevertheless of what adding to 6, it will also turn to positive. So and the sum of positive number, the evil number, the sum of evil number will surely give you an evil number. For example, 8 plus 2, you know it is 10. We have 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. So, meaning that the sum of this is equal to positive number. So, if all these are positive number, meaning that evil number. So, the sum of evil number is even showing that this number multiplying this number is an evil number. It is an even because the sum of evil number is equal to evil the same thing applicable to here anything applicable to this as we have said earlier now the difference of evil number will surely give you an evil number so this the the sum of uh, the difference of 2 raised to power a minus 6 raised to power b will surely give you an evil number so when when you have the differences between any evil number is evil. So, since this is evil, this is positive. A uh, uh, positive number because the evil number here is positive. So here is positive. And before you can add, before you can multiply two number to give us a positive number, positive twenty eight, meaning that two raised to power a minus six raised to power b, it is also positive number. Let me re-explain better. What makes you to know that here is evil? Nevertheless, of alphabet on the of, of A, nevertheless of the value it possesses, it surely gives you the evil number. Because it gives you anything that 2 raised to power 1, 2 raised to power 2 is an evil. Adding them together, 
it is also an evil number. So the same thing applicable to 2 raised to the power A minus 6 raised to the power B. Any, the, the subtractions of the difference of evil number will surely give you evil. So since this one is positive, multiply a positive number must give you 28. If this value is negative, it will never give you uh, plus 28. So now, what is now the factors of 28? What are, what are the factors to consider? 1, 1 to multiply 28, 2 to multiply 14, and also 4 to multiply 7. Since the value we need here is even and positive, so automatically this, this one is not, is not an, 1 is not an even, it cancel. So also, let's see this 7 is also an odd number. And we don't have any odd, it's cancelled. So we only have we only have this. Meaning that and moreover, two raised to power a plus six raised to power b must be the must be the greater. Therefore, you have two raised to power a plus three raised to power b is equal to 14, and two raised to power a minus six raised to power b is equal to 2. So let's have Let's rewrite it 2 raised to power a plus 6 raised to power b is equal to 14. 2 raised to power a minus 6 raised to power b is equal to 2. Therefore, let's add them together. We have 2 of 2 raised to power a is equal to 16. So let's divide both sides by 2. We have 2 raised to power a is equal to 8. So if 2 raised to the power 8 is equal to 8, 2 raised to the power 8 is equal to 8, this means 2 raised to the power 3 because it's equal to 8. So 2 raised to the power A is equal to 2 raised to the power 3, meaning that A is equal to 3. So by going back to the any of the equation given, we have 2 raised to the power A plus 3 raised to the power B which is equal to 14, so 2 raised to the power 3 plus 6 raised to the power b is equal to 14, so 8 plus 6 raised to the power b is equal to 14, 6 raised to the power b is equal to 14 minus 8, which is equal to 6, so meaning that 6 raised to the power b is equal to 6 raised to the power 1, b is equal to 1. So now let's cross check, maybe our answer is correct, therefore, we have 4 raised to the power a minus 36 to the power b will be 4 raised to the power 3 minus 36 to the power 1, which is equal to 64 minus 36, which is equal to 28. Therefore, a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 1. So that is the answer. Thanks for watching.